from Denver, Colorado, it's theCUBE, covering Supercomputing 17, brought to you by Intel. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at Supercomputing 2017 here in Denver, Colorado. 12,000 people talking about big iron, heavy lifting, stars, future, mapping the brain, all kinds of big applications. And we're here, first time ever for theCUBE. Great to be here. We're excited for our next guest. She's Susan Bob Holtz. She's the Fabric Alliance Manager for OmniPath at Intel. Susan, welcome. Thank you. So what is OmniPath, for those that don't know? OmniPath is Intel's high performance fabric. What it does is it allows you to connect systems and make big, huge supercomputers. Okay, so for the, uh, the, the Royal three-headed horseman of compute, compute store, and networking, you're really in the data center networking exactly. connecting the, the, the compute and the store. Correct, okay. yes. And how long has this product been around? We started shipping 18 months ago. Oh, so pretty new. Very new, Very yes. New. Okay, and target market, I'm guessing has something to do with high performance computing. <laughs> yes, it's, it's our target market is high performance computing, but we're also seeing a lot of deployments in artificial intelligence now. Okay, and so what's different? Why did Intel feel compelled that they needed to come out with a new connectivity solution? We were getting people telling us they were concerned that the existing solutions were becoming too expensive and weren't going to scale into the future, so they said, Intel, can you do something about it? So we did. We made a couple of strategic acquisitions, we combined that with some of our own IP, okay. and came up with OmniPath. OmniPath is very much a proprietary protocol with a, but we use all the same software interfaces as in InfiniBand, so your software applications just run. Okay, so it, so to the to the machines it looks like InfiniBand. Yes. Just plug and play. Very and much run so. It's very similar. Okay, yes. so what are some of the attributes that make it so special? Uh, the reason it's, it's really going very well is that it's the price performance benefits. So we have equal to or better performance than InfiniBand today, but we also have uh, our switch technology is 48 ports versus InfiniBand is 36 ports. So that means you can build denser clusters in less space and less cables, lower power, total cost of ownership goes down. And that's why people are buying it. And really fits into the data center strategy it's that very Intel's nicely. executing Abs uh, absolutely. very aggressively right now. Yes, very okay. much so. Awesome. so what is your thoughts here on the show? Any announcements, anything you've seen that's, that's uh, Oh adventurous? yeah, so we, we couple things is okay. we've had a really good luck on the Type 500 list. 60% of the servers that are running 100 gigabit fabrics in the Type 500 list are running connected via OmniPath. What percentage again? 60%. 60? Yes. You've only been at it for 18 yes, months. Yes, exactly. Impressive. Very, very, very good. And we've got systems in the top 10 already. Top, okay. Some of the top 10 systems in the world are using OmniPath. And is it rip and replace, do you find, or these are new systems these that are people new are systems. putting in? Yeah, these are new systems. We're Usually screen. when somebody's got a system they like and run, they don't, they don't want to touch it right. again. These are people that are saying, I need a new system, I need more power, I need more, more oomph. As okay. they, they have the money, the budget, they want to put in something new, and that's when they look to OmniPath. Okay, so what, what are you working on now? What's kind of next for, for OmniPath? What's next for us is, is we are announcing a new, higher, denser switch to ne technology, so that will allow you to go for your director class switches, which are the really big ones, is now, rather than having 768 ports, you can go to 1152, and that means, again, denser topologies, lower power, less cabling, it all reduces your total cost of ownership. Right. I think you just answered my question, but I'm going to ask okay. anyway. We talked a little bit before we turned the cameras on about AI. Right. And, and really some of the, the unique challenges of AI, and mm -hmm. that was part of the motivation behind this product. So what are some of the special attributes of AI that really require this type of connectivity? It's very much what you see with even with high performance computing. You need low latency, you need high bandwidth. It's the same technologies, and in fact, in a lot of cases, it's the same systems. Or sometimes they can be run a software load that is HPC focused, and sometimes they're running a software load that is artificial intelligence focused, but they have the same exact needs. Okay. Do it fast, do it quick. Right, right, that's why I said you already answered the question. <laughs> Higher density, more compute, exactly. more or faster right. and price performance. All exactly. right, good. So if we come back uh, a year from now for Supercomputing 2018, which I guess is in Dallas, Dallas. Late November, they just announced, what are we going to be talking about? What are your, some of your priorities and the team's priorities as you look ahead to 2018? Oh, we're continuing to advance the OmniPath technology with software and additional capabilities moving forward, so we're hoping to have some really cool announcements next year. All right, well, we'll look forward to it and we'll see you in uh, Dallas in a year. Thanks, Goo. All right, she's Susan, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE from Supercomputing 2017. Thanks for watching, see you next time.